glad you're here. Thank you for watching Atlanta & Company. I'm Kara Kinnear. From toddler to teenager, music can make a powerful impact in a child's life, but it doesn't just boost brain power. Here to share some other surprising benefits is music educator and creator of the popular franchise, Dr. Fuddle. Please welcome Dr. Warren Woodruff. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Woodruff. Thank you very much. It's great to be back here. Yes, thr we're thrilled to have you. I was telling you I'm so excited about this segment because as a child and as an adult, I'm a huge proponent of music and, and having children have the opportunity to learn. It, it's really the best thing you can do for your child. As I, I start children when they're usually five years old, and mm -hmm. I keep them all the way until they go to college. And a lot of them, they don't even want to stop after that. They want to major or minor in music. <laughs> Because when you put all that work into it, it's hard to just let go and stop. Well, you know what that means, Dr. Wood? That means that you're a good teacher. If they don't want to stop, well, <laughs> you get them young, and then they really, um, you know, uh, appreciate it and fall mm -hmm. in love with it. And I was telling him, too, that my mom said we could either do band at school or we could take private piano lessons. So I did the piano lesson route. And it's it really is a skill that I'm so glad that I have. And I'm probably more of a, a music-minded person anyway. But mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you are on one side or another. I think just getting your kid involved is the greatest thing you can do for them. It, it is in a lot of cultures. It's really required because uh, one of the things that it does for children is it stimulates their brain in a way that nothing else does. Even when people become very elderly, if they start losing a lot of their senses, the last thing that goes is music. They still recognize music. And as a little child, even they've proven as an unborn child, that music resonates even in the womb. Right. Th that's why they have the book, The Mozart Effect. Right. Which, um, which explains how the music, the rhythms of Mozart and the sounds affect a, uh, even an unborn child. So from the very, very beginning to the end, music has a very powerful influence on a person. So if somebody was, you know, if, when I was pregnant and, you know, you put the headphones on your belly and let the baby listen to music, see, I am not crazy. That really no. does help, right? Right. Yeah. Well, and I, I brought Mozart today. Yeah, show I us what you brought. Because this is what they would really recommend for that situation. And I've been using this as a tool all week to inspire my children, um, all of my students, that in 35 short years that Mozart lived, it takes 170 full-length CDs to contain oh, all of his music. God. I mean, when you think about that, each of these CDs, like, the, you know, this may contain three or four symphonies alone, and he started at such a young age. Wow. And so the, one of the things, you know, besides stimulating a child's brain, the second thing I would say that you do is you inspire them. Mm -hmm. Because it's really our job as music educators to inspire children. Right. Because if you've inspired a young mind... You, I mean, we've got another whole chance with another generation. Mm -hmm. You know, for a lot of us, it's kind of too late. <laughs> but with children, I mean, Man. that are five years old now, right. you've got a chance. Once you've inspired them, you've done something for life. The stimulate, inspire, what else, Dr. Wood? Well, challenging them. Mm -hmm. Because once they have a challenge, they, they see how difficult it is to, to get really good at an instrument. And it's, it's, not, it's not like something that you can do just for five minutes. It's something you can literally spend up to 10, 12 hours a day and still not master, even begin one lifetime's not enough. Right. So, you know, they see it as a challenge and it, it, it distracts them from doing things that they maybe should not be doing mm -hmm. or it makes them more aware of the value of time right so it's really it really challenges them and and in the challenge you other people are usually enjoying your work which also has met a benefit because you're making other people happy exactly right it, you know that's the one thing I tell a lot of my students I would not trade one minute of the time I've spent, as a matter of fact, I would wish I had back some of the time I didn't practice that I could have learned maybe more, but make more Beethoven sonatas, more Mozart right. pieces, right. or something. But that leads to the fourth thing that it, it just motivates 
besides challenging it, just motivates them mm -hmm. because they, they may have a choice between doing, you know, like watching, watching television or something or playing a game or something that doesn't stimulate them as right. much. And then they'll think, oh, I got to practice because Dr. Woodruff's going to kill me if I don't practice <laughs> right. enough this That's week. That's a real and, fear <laughs> from a former music yeah, student. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely instill that fear in, in my students, but I try to do it in a fun way because mm -hmm. I, I just think that learning music needs to be fun right. because the music itself is so enjoyable, but it, it motivates mm -hmm. the child. But that leads into the last thing specifically, and it's one of the reasons why I wrote my, my book and screenplay, Dr. Fuddle and the Gold Baton, is to transform, to show the transformative power of music. Because there is not enough time for me to even begin to delve into the topic of how music transforms. I've seen it over and over and over in just not only my own life, but in the life of my students. And they, they get into a work that challenges, motivates them, everything. And then it starts to go to that transcendent level mm -hmm. where it really begins to transform them as a human being. And they, they begin feeling very empowered by it. Right. I, I had a lot of students do very well in our spring auditions and win first place scholarships and 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 the music just it, it, it takes over their right. soul. Yeah, and it's a spiritual it, thing. It really it, is. It is a very spiritual mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And so it transcends everything that we that we see and feel just on a regular basis, our normal daily activities right. is something transcendent yeah. and transforming. Well, Dr. Wood, thank you so much for the work that you do and touching so many people through music. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you for being thank here. If you would like to learn more, you can log on to drfuddle.com.